Let's get this figured out This world gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn they love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play the shit for keeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And today, fellas, you know, y'all know I'm playing that beta, so I'm just going to just keep dumping it on y'all on a daily basis for the moment. But today we're going to talk about the vertical catch radius. So... You know, there's catch radius where you see that big circle on the ground right there, right? And then, you know, there's the vertical catch radius. It's like, you know, there's flat earth and, and yeah, whatever. But as you get into the catch radius, you will see the little white cursor or, you know, the little white circle or, you know, whatever. And as you see that, the timing that you go for the catch becomes so important as it relates to your location of that circle so the closer you get to that circle the better if you can time it where you're kind of jumping right or going for your catch or your your jump animation in front of the circle right or in front of the circle and the jump carries you into the circle is what i consider like the sweet spot so if you look at a lot of these replays when you see that, you see the big catch radius, the big shadow on the ground, you see the little white circle that's right there. I'm trying to get as close to that as humanly possible or with perfect timing, I'm trying to jump or propel myself right into it. And that's like a magic spot to where if, if you can get it right there, a lot of the times, no matter the collision, yeah, that, that shoots your catch retention like way, way, way up. And so it's kind of tricky to kind of look for but it, it's like once you do it for a while and you start to really get used to it and you start to really see the types of animations that you can get going into that spot it's kind of crazy so you know in 24 what i'm noticing is a lot of the bigger slower receivers even i mean not not you know not necessarily technically slow but you know, by Madden standards, the guys that aren't 95 speed or not, I, some in a lot of these cases, not even 91 speed. You know, a lot of these receivers that I'm having the most success with are these guys that are somewhere in the 88 to 90 speed range or maybe 91 speed range, not even 92. And it just seems like they are a little bit easier to control. Uh, they're easier to get you know, I'm able to throttle down and get into that catch radius point and then go vertical. Now, a lot of the problems that this game <laughs> or one of the problems that this game has is that they've done some graphic, I guess, cleanup to how they present it in 24. So it's more so just the little orange uh, spot now. It's not you see where that orange spot is above the white spot every time you when i throw you'll see the you'll see the white spot and then you'll see the orange spot kind of you know adjacent to it somewhere and so on 24 i don't see the white spot as much and it seems like even on some routes even the orange spot is really hard to pick up especially if you play uh in those stadiums <clears throat> where the shadows are like kind of crazy y'all see Sutton out here dogging it man but in, I, I'm telling you, I, I like it, but it's tricky. I, I will admit that it is it is tricky learning because these are what I call a launch point. So it's it's tricky kind of learning your launch points on 24 because it seems like it, it it moves like it or it's, it's kind of random at times. And then sometimes it seems like if you get there too early, they won't let you do anything, which is really crazy. 
Because my guess would be if I'm standing on the spot, then I should have first dibs at everything if I hit the button. And so at some point they may understand that, that well, I think they are, excuse me, they already know that's what we want. What am I talking about? They know that we want a game that puts us in position, but ultimately the user input should decide what's happening. Yeah. I mean, I, why are we playing this? We might as well be playing like uh, <clears throat> one of those simulation games or something like that, where you just call to play and sit back and let the play happen. But no, it, it, we want the input for things to happen when we press a button. That's yeah, there's no secret to that, you know. So for all of <laughs> so I have a hard time believing this. Like, so, yeah. So for in the um, I guess in the complaints or the emails, everyone, we the first thing or the thing we wanted most was referees on the field. Yeah, right. In what lifetime? Come on. That y'all, I please tell me nobody bought that. No, no way y'all could have bought that. I'm sorry. No, yeah, no. I, I look. Referees on the field was the easiest thing co to correct because they don't have to do anything. All you had to do is just put somebody there. Yeah. So you made a big to do about putting referees on the field, a function that has nothing to do with the game whatsoever. Yeah, if they're on the field, why are they still making terrible phantom calls and missing pass interference calls? Why is that back line judge, why is he never calling the pass interference call if he's on the field now? I know I'm tripping again. But back to the video. Like I said, though, it's, it's going to get tricky because, like I said, the, Anna, the, the AI animations have gotten to a point where, yeah, it's, it's a little bit... It's predictably unpredictable. If, yeah, if you can make any sense out of that, meaning it's in certain situations, it's going to do exactly what you expect it to do. So if the guy doesn't click on, you know, you're going to be able to abuse certain routes and you're going to be able to come back and get leverage on certain routes. Um, and then, you know, if you do it too many times, expect the third or fourth time you try it, it's going to get picked off. So you just have to learn how to play around it and you have to go away from it sometimes to be able to come back to it. Yeah, I actually have a video about playing against the algorithm. Serious, a, vir a virtual serious business. But in every situation, like y'all see guys like Pitts, man, this is that that is it's totally unfair if you can get this down and, and you're able to time it where you're getting yourself right in the perfect spot. So the main thing that you want to do is once the ball is thrown, I would probably be, well, I can't speak for it. This is what I do. I, I'm searching for where right now in 23, I'm searching for where the little white um, cursor is. As soon as the ball is thrown, I'm looking for, y'all see the cursor right there and watch me stop right in, right in front of it or right next to it and launch myself kind of into it as the finishing move. And so to me, that necessitates or it, it gets it to a perfect launch point and again when you get that if it's one guy out there man unless he's like lester hayes or somebody yeah you oh god that was ugly 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 yeah stuff it's gonna get ugly and so in every situation watch me get right there to that launch point right in front of that little white cursor and launch right there every single uh clip I mean, just watch it. it. It's it's just simple. And I mean, now how you navigate and all that kind of stuff, that's y'all got to come over to coach DC 404.com uh, and learn some of the, the moves and the, and the best practices and all that stuff. But, you know, for better or for worse, you're ultimately going to be get, trying to get yourself to that launch point and trying to get up right in front of that little white cursor right there every single time. And it's a timing thing. That's when you should be hitting hitting the button or, you know, going for the catch, going into your final phase, you know, uh, rack aggressive or secure, you know, or just not clicking on at all, which some people do, which is crazy to me. Like, why are you playing the game? You throw it and you won't click on to the receiver. Come on, man. That's no, that's weird. All right. But yeah, so. Every time, same, y'all look at Juju doing his thing. Every single time, 
try to navigate yourself to the spot. Learn the timing. Learn the receivers are different. Some receivers are a little bit more easy to control. Now, one thing about the catch, the vertical catch radius is that you have to understand whatever the receiver. So let's say you have a 5'11 receiver who has 99 jumping. Look at that is so disrespectful, Juju. 5'11 receiver, 99 jump. He's only going to go up so high because of his height. Now, he may jump out of the gym, but if you have a six foot five receiver with like 88 jumping, it's technically going to be equal out to be like the same thing. And I, and I don't know that. Now, please, nobody go back and do the measurements and come back in, in the comments like, well, you know, coach, you. Yeah, I, we none of us want to hear that. All right. Chill out. Just watch. But y'all understand. And so the physicality part, how you get there, what you do in, you know, once the ball arrives and it, again, it's just it's repetitive in nature. It's you have to understand uh, you have to for yourself. You have to have some sort of timing mechanism that's going to trigger you to go for the catch. You can't just hold the button and then just run to the area and hope something magical is going to happen. I I. I Hope to God that none of you guys are doing that. No, learn how to time it out because actually what's silly is that actually will work in some cases. But if you want to, once you start to get in these tight games and, and you're playing against somebody who really knows what they're doing, yeah, you throw that nonsense up there and don't click on if you want. This is going to be the result. Don't let this happen to you, man. Don't be, don't be one of these little, you, the names are protected and you know, to protect the innocent, whatever I was going to say. Yeah, up at the top. I don't want people seeing this stuff. Except for y'all. Anyway, I'm joking. 